thank you, but I tell you what, I was looking at the future. We'll, 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 we'll get rid of that. Banquo! We'll get that one. Banquo, <laughs> yes. Oh, how's things? Warm, isn't it? It is warm. Warm. I've been having loads of fun with the Americans today, telling them this is, this is the problem with living in Wales, is dealing with the heat and... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's rough. The tropics. I know, yeah. brilliant. So, what you got going on at the moment? I know um, some big finished stuff, some... Yeah, big finishes. Yeah, that's pretty constant, the big finished things. Yeah. Making new box sets, um, shooting Albi City for a yeah. year. Um, so I'm gainfully employed. <laughs> which is good, which yeah. is not always the case uh, yeah. uh, uh, for us. Yeah, my family quite like that, it just keeps me out of the house and <laughs> keeps me away, keeps me busy. Oh, really? Well, look, we have only, I know we've got this for half an hour, so on, then. there's one or two questions. So if there's all the work, do you speak to me? or? Uh, we we will just, questions? let's throw it out there and see if anyone's got any questions, and we shall go from there. Hands up. Not all at once. Nothing about, <laughs> nothing about Brexit. No, yeah. there's nothing yeah. about, not like it's question time. <laughs> go to the back of it. Well, um, if you were given the opportunity to do the big finish stuff in live action, would you take it? Ooh. I'd be curious, but then you couldn't do it. I mean, they're not the same thing. For the simple reason that audio stuff, which I, you know what, I think I prefer. Because it's, 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 as, it's as big, it's as wide, it's as exciting as your imagination is. All, you know, the, the best special effects in the world are in here. You know, when you listen to good audio, you listen to good radio, it, you do the work. Um, I suppose if you wanted to shoot one of the best with the better audio episodes, it would cost you millions just to try and reproduce that kind of pace and excitement and just the scale of it. So, um, what was the question? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think you could do it. They're, 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 they're just they're discrete things. They're separate things. That you just couldn't do. It. I guess it's it's timeless as well, isn't it? So Sylvester comes in now and again, and there's some of the big finished stuff yeah. as well. Yeah, we all do them, and uh, you know now it's kind of all year round. And particularly since, uh, I suppose since around the time of the, of the 50th, um, and particularly in North America where the penny really dropped about the audios, and people started buying them, people started, you know, they realized then um, that, uh, you know, there was, a, there was some real adventures on this. So, and the business model, particularly the Big Finish, is that, you know, the more you buy, the more we can make, yeah. and the better we can do them. So we're, we're getting good at them now. Yeah. I saw all the bundles the other day as well, which is great now because obviously the more you do, yeah, there was some uh, some torchy bundles. Like, like uh, sound like family, I think it was that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were they were doing uh, some really good deals. Yeah. They bought a load of them together. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, no, you um, there's an app now I, I hear, and there's different yeah. ways of, of getting them. You know, whereas even just a short time ago, well, what is it now? 12, 15 years when I started, you know, you still, they were still mail order on little cassettes and whatever. <coughs> Anyway, because I'm old. You got a blue mouth today. Yeah, yeah. because of the Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, of all the characters you were playing, whether that's TV, radio, movie, whatever, who do you think most closely reflects your own persona? Oh. Um, Eugene Rayburn, the, in the Dickens, uh, in Our Mutual Friend. And that's probably going to sound a bit highfalutin because I know that Dickens himself, that was the, 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 our mutual friend was a thing I was in for the uh, Beeb in the 90s. And it's the favourite part I ever played, it's the best thing I was ever in, I think. And um, the, the lawyer character, Rayburn, when, when it was the last novel that Dickens completed, Ed and Drew was left uncompleted the year after, and then he was dead. But, he confessed in a letter to one of his mates that this Rayburn character was the nearest thing to him that he'd ever written. Uh, you know, this kind of morally dubious, um, otherwise plausible, smart ass. Um, I get a load of them parts, I get a bit funny. You know, kind of dodgy imposters and um, slick operators and, you know. Not very nice kind of characters, anyway. But, uh, but that one, probably. That one. But um, it's probably quite, I can say it's probably quite, what's the word? Pretentious. <laughs> Let me just say so, but there you go. That's me as well. Oh, yeah, um, Paul, why didn't they give you a series 
Doctor Who after the movie, because as far as I Because it failed. It was, a, it was a pilot that failed. It never got the ratings when it was when it was put out as a pilot. Um, the way that the American system, at least then, worked um, was that they in, in a particular TV season, they up, all the pilots that were made sort of go out against each other like a race, like a like a fight, and it just never made the, it never made the cut. Just didn't get made. Um, that's the reason. That's that's the bold reason. Um, so any plans that we had to go to a series to make a series, any plans that they had for me to play the character were suddenly shelved, as we know. And it would be ten years before it came back, but someone else did it. Um, there you go. I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> again, but again, it's like but the with nothing. I'll be careful what you wish for. Thing is, had that gone to series, it's likely that we might not have ever spoken about David Tennant or Matt Smith or Chris Eccleston. Or, you know, it just would have gone. Doctor Who would have gone a different way. So. Um, things are meant to be. I auditioned, I was asked to audition um, amidst all kinds of rumours, that was would have been 94, we eventually shot it in the winter of 96, but, um, and there was a bit that Doctor Who had stopped being on the BBC in 89, so it had already been five years, and we were hearing these rumours that somebody was going to come back, and rumours, and usually these rumours, they're normally just bullshit, but we, we were hearing, I, need, but I remember even hearing that uh, an American might play it, they might do it in America, we were hearing these things already. Um, and then, when it came to it, and I was asked to go in and audition, I was well aware that, you know, 20 other actors were doing it as well. In fact, my brother was one of them. Uh, our Mark also went in. Um, and I thought, whatever, well, you'll go in. Um, you know, it's your, it's your job, and I thought, it sounded kind of, it sounded unlikely. I'm not even, I just, the way I remember it, I think, I, I said, they're not going to do this, I remember thinking, they're not going to make this. Um, it's unlikely that it's going to, why did they get rid of it, just, just to remake it? And, um, and in the end, it, it proved to be true. And that year, that same year, me and my brothers, we shot uh, a film serial in Ireland. Um, a, a period thing, and I played this priest who was set in the 1840s in the famine in, in, in Ireland, and I'm wearing this dark frock coat, and my hair was long, um, and it looked doctorish, and unbeknownst to myself, Phil Siegel, who produced the, 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 the movie, is sitting, I don't know where, with America somewhere, watching it on the telly going, whoever that is, he's my doctor, I want this kid to, you know, because I was wearing the, the gear, I um, and that, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure that that's how I got the, the nod in the end. Um, but I think you can find these auditions now online, if someone's posted them. I know because mine's on there, my brother, I think if they're on YouTube you can see them and some other actors. But we were hearing rumours, you know, I remember hearing rumours that, um, who plays Mr. Bean? Oh, yeah, he was going to do it. Or, um, 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 the, uh, the fellow from Monty Python, who one of them was good. But you know, like, people you could, you think, oh yeah, 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 oh, I can see that. You know, given that Doctor Who was meant to be like, he's meant to be this sort of comic. Uh, and then when they asked me, I thought, well, why are they asking me? I'm not a, Eric Idle, I remember, I remember thinking, it was a rumor he was going to do it. Um, and I remember thinking, well, why are they asking us? You know, we're dramatic actors, we're not comedians. Anyway, there you go. Well, you got the gig. <laughs> is yep. what I'm sitting here. <laughs>